Welcome to the Nature Color Wheel instructional video. Hi guys. So in your packet, you received a paper plate. Paper plate. Paper plate. You received a baggie of colored squares. And the only thing you will need from home for this one is glue. We have two examples. We have the glue that's just liquid in a bottle and we have ye old glue stick. Now, if you've already watched some of our other videos, you know that we say, if you have bottle liquid glue, you're using a tiny amount, so tiny, so small. If you are using a glue stick, you need a lot, so much, very much. So your color wheel is very simple and it's up for artistic expression. This is the color wheel I prepared. That looks very neat, very organized, very clear. This is not how you have to do it. You can do it any way that you want based on your own art feelings of the day. So we are going to let our two video instructors work on their color wheel and we will actually explore the yard with the already made sample art. When they get started, you're going to do the squares around the edge of the plate. If you decide that you just want the squares just all over the plate like this, just glued in crazy areas, that's up to you. If that's what you want your color wheel to look like, go for it. This is your art project. Sorry, I messed up your art. All right, so we'll let them get started gluing. I'm gonna take you guys on a quick walk with the color wheel. So here we are just in a standard backyard. And right here, I already have a color. Let's match it up. Uh, we're about here. So ta-da, we're done with the green. And this is gonna be the fun part of it. You guys are just gonna take your color wheel with you and explore. So right now, look how great that looks against the grass. And it's early summer, so we have a lot of green. Lots of greens you can match up. And as we walk, we'll see if we find some color. Now it's very cloudy today. So if we go up to the sky, it's not gonna be real blue. We'll go over here. There's some, let's see if our purple matches up. We're almost there with that. We're gonna drop down here to a mint and a pig. Oh, look at that, very nice. We're gonna keep walking. Got lots of, this is my pig garden, by the way. Here's some pink. I don't think I added pink to mine. The pig's gonna follow us the whole time. More green, so much green. Oh, here's some purple. You can drop down for that. Not quite. More pig goodness. Here's a dark color. So I have some black flowers in here. And our brown doesn't quite match up to that, but our brown does match up to the stump back there with the And you can do this anywhere you walk, through your neighborhood, in your yard, on a hike. Here's some bee balm with a bee on it. And the purple does match up to that. See our little bee friend. You keep going. Oh, there's some yellow. Most of my stuff hasn't flowered yet. Here's the tan of the bird bath. Oh, I did find some red. There's some red back here. All right, and we'll walk with our color wheel. 
and we're going to check in on our artists and see how they're doing. There's another way you can just kind of hold it up and turn it. Good way to find your colors. There's some greens, tans, all the way to a brown. How are we making out back here? Pretty good. Pretty I actually random. am just finishing up with my green. I mean, my gray. Um, so one artist is going completely random. And one artist has painstakingly laid out her squares in the order she wants them. Which kind of artist are you? All right, I feel like that gives you guys a really good head start. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and get out there this summer and enjoy your nature color wheel. Starting next month, it's gonna be so many different flowers and things that are blooming. Thanks everyone.